Sarah, Sarah. Did you have eye surgery? Uh, not eye surgery, but I had a super intense laser procedure and I literally lo look like the cat woman right now. My face is falling off. So oh my God, I'm so sorry, Camille. Why? It we was a, totally put a great schedule. No, we're not going to miss this. We're not going to miss Dory. <laughs> we're not going to miss Dory. I love it. Sorry, I'm literally <laughs> posting that we're recording. That is so freaking funny. I mean, I'm I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. I'm oh. glad that the surgery went up. <laughs> but I I feel really bad that you had that. <gasps> okay, give me one second. So I, here I am. So here you are. Yeah. <laughs> There she is. Hey, how's it going? Oh yeah, he can't. Oh hear. crud. You look cool. Uh, Sarah. Oh my God, look. <laughs> you guys got a match. <laughs> Camille. Okay, I don't know what's going on. You here. want me to wear these? Will that make you feel better? Okay, hang on. My computer is like going crazy right now. I don't even think she saw it yet. <laughs> Sarah. I right. mean, Wes brought them to me. All right, hang on. I've got Surrey. Okay, there we go. I have Surrey, like Siri, Siri cutting Surrey. me off. Yeah, this is. So you gotta play. You gotta, Aww. You gotta play the role. You gotta play a role like like Jennifer Dory. You're, you're just too hot. We gotta wear shades. Oh, that's <laughs> a great idea. We're gonna do it. We just, we're so sorry. We look like the Smiths. From like the matrix <laughs> i honestly i had no idea so i thought you were like fucking around with me so i was like oh okay yeah we're adding some funny comments uh, no part. my face my face is like pretty swollen and my it's literally like skin is literally falling off <laughs> this is the Behind is the real Camille. This is the only picture that we have of me in the house. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyways. Okay, so anyways, I'll leave these on till Jen comes on. All right, wow, Olympia recap 2021, Mr. Olympia. That was like, okay, besides the 2020. <laughs> He's lying. Oh my God, I'm serious. They're everywhere. <laughs> Just kidding. He's such a fanboy. <laughs> I love it. Wow, that's hilarious. Oh God. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh my God, my computer. I'm so sorry. No, you're Siri fine. keeps on. Siri keeps on popping up. Did you mean? Um, yes. Olympia 2022. The 2020 was the Olympia that you pulled out of. I mean, 2021. Uh, oh, God. Yes. Well, it's okay. We're, it's okay. We're almost there. I mean, it's a fine. <laughs> <laughs> so Olympia 2020 was the Olympia you pulled out of. Olympia now 2021. This is, this is only the second time that you haven't been to the Olympia in how many years? Uh, last one was 2019. So I did three years before that. Yeah, yeah, wow, it's so crazy. And it what a change too. The stayed in Orlando for this year and uh ran smoothly as ever. The live stream was awesome. Did you watch that? Yeah. I saw I'm sure you did. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah, we were we definitely watched that. We had like a full viewing party with we invited all of our staff and it was a lot of fun. Oh, that's awesome. It's funny I though, know. whenever we watch like though, like <laughs> when we watch like when we stream the Arnold and Olympia. Or literally watching the like most fit people on the planet eating junk food and drinking <laughs> booze. <laughs> hey, um, I may or may not. This was my first Olympia that I haven't been in person at in years. So that was you weren't exactly, there. Well, I was there. You were working maximum beauty. Yes, but I was working maximum beauty in the hotel room. And instead I was kicking up with the live stream, perhaps a brew, perhaps a ranch water in my hand and some jalapeno cheddar Cheetos, but then judging all the girls, of course. So at least I'm honest. Well, the girls, the girls looked amazing. They did look their amazing. Hair and makeup, yeah. Their hair and makeup looked 
awesome. And oh yes, thank you. I've got to say that uh, everybody, everybody uh, on the Olympia stage brought like their best. It was yeah. everyone looked really good. Yeah. Um, and I think there was maybe a few people who took our our notes from the Arnold's recap and maybe made some changes. They did. I think they I watched agree. it. I agree. And yeah, that was our fun text message that we had going on. Yeah. And I just, I had to pull up uh, the top 10 again. Um, I mean, top 15 really to just kind of look back at what happened and how things had changed. Um, so sorry, I'm having a moment. How do you want to do this? Do you want to uh, break down the top five? I know we're going to get Miss Bikini Olympia Jennifer Dory on here momentarily, but did you want to, uh, how do you want to run through that, Camille? Uh, yeah, let's just kind of go through the top. Uh, we can go through the top 10, um, for sure the top five. Yeah. Obviously Jennifer Dory won and uh, she looked awesome. I think all eyes were on Jennifer Dory um, coming into the Olympia, especially after winning the Arnold Classic. Yep just two weeks before. Um, and she, she looked incredible. I think there was, it was like, I was watching it and I was actually looked awesome too. Mm -hmm. So did Laura Lee. I mean, I'll, I mean, every girl did. Um, and, but between when they had the top three lined up, I was like, wow, Ashley might actually be back you know, at it, man. Yeah. Yeah. I thought she, so too for a minute. Yeah. Um, and then, so Jennifer Dory got first place, well-deserved. Um, uh, Ashley Kaltwasser came in second place. That was tight. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. Laura Lee. Laura Lee came in second. Came in second. Came in second. I'm so sorry. sorry. I didn't um, even not a lot. Yeah. And Laura Lee looked awesome. She, I, I think she brought the balance that the judges were wanting her to bring for, you know, since the last times that she's competed. Um, and she really, I think, nailed it. it was, she looked incredible. Yeah. Um, and hey, how about that? Uh, Canada, eh? Top two. Eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good I know. They're Canada. Friends. And Chris Bumstead in Classic Physique, another Canadian. That was pretty cool to see. Good for them. I saw you in his YouTube video. Oh, yeah. I did make the <laughs> cut. I did make the YouTube video. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, him and Brandon Hendrickson, they come and uh, got their face done for the stage. And look at that, Brandon and Chris won. So that was Yeah, awesome. you have the, the, the winners in your circle. That was awesome. That's yeah, rad. For sure. rad, rad. Definitely. God, I missed that word. Um, <laughs> back, to, back to the girls. Back to Bikini. Uh, uh, Maureen in fourth. Um, that was, I mean, I feel like she's always kind of been uh in the top and someone to look out for but to my knowledge she's never had a uh top four top four top five placing at the olympia so hats off to her for really uh bringing yeah the, the last time she competed which i think was 2019 at the olympia she i think she competed at that olympia she was in the top she was between fifth and tenth so she was i think i think she was around like seventh or eighth place yeah um, and I had a feeling that she was going to be in that top, um, you know, that top call out. She mm -hmm. just, she just, she's incredible. Yeah, she does um, have an incredible physique. And then Issa Passini, she uh, slipped down to number five. Um, right. That was uh, a little disappointing to see. I thought that she did really bring her best. She adjusted that pose. Um, she did but evidently that played against her so I think for Issa it was her backside like if compared to the other the other competitors I, I feel like Issa's backside wasn't as like the tie-ins and the it wasn't as sharp as she usually is and I think it was her backside that because her front looked great I thought that front pose she adjusted back and it was like okay she looks this is Issa but the backside, I, I think she um, she wasn't as crisp as she normally is. And, and she already has kind of subtle lines. And so I think that kind of got washed out compared to the others that were in front of her. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely see what you're saying. And, and two, you know, it's such a, 
these girls are just a hair off for everything. I mean, you can change one little thing and next thing you know, the placings may change around. So uh, it was close all the way through to the top 10. And I'm just going to really quickly go through um, Daraja Hill, who you predicted uh, doing really well. She came in sixth. Then you have Jen Ronziti, um, a veteran in seventh place. Another veteran, Romina Vesualdo in eighth, and then Lauren Dannon Miller in ninth, and Lucia Mal, uh, sorry, I'm gonna mispronounce her last name, Mala Vaz in uh, 10th place there. So good for Lauren Dannon Miller. I think that's very impressive. I think she should be really happy with that placing. Um, you called that too. You were, she was kind of like your wild card that you had mentioned our last episode. Yeah, yeah. And didn't she just win a show this past weekend? No, she got second place, I think. Yeah, I think Jordan Lee at, won. Uh, yeah, at the at the hurricane. Hurricane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and and two, I have to comment that uh, Erin Stern, former Miss uh, Figure Olympia, came. You know, we all know her comeback into bikini, and she did crack the top fifteen. So I think that's pretty impressive, and that's also something that she should be happy about uh, because it was a it was a really tough lineup. So yeah. I'm excited to have Jennifer on and get her inside scoop. And I know next? the new, the new bikini champions crazy. I think the last time we had her on here, she was, I think she had just won her first show ever. Really? No. Yeah. No, sorry. Yeah. I, missed um, I just missed the again. Uh, we've had her on here a couple times. I know, but I think, uh, but I, I know. Oh, I, oh, I see what you're. Doing. I think one of the the last time we had her on, we were top interviewing her. She had just finally won her first show because she's, you know, she's one of those um, pros that may not have. She didn't have a whole lot of wins under her belt, but she she competed at the top tier shows. Yes, and, and was always, always consistent. And was always super consistent in like that top three. Um, and that's, that got her to Olympia through the point system. We had strict to the point system and then she, then she won a show and now she's kind of worked her way up, but she's, um, she's, I think she's such a great, I I'm excited to have her as the bikini ambassador. I think she's going to be, do really well at it and represent the division. I agree. Nicely. I'm yeah. so happy for her and what a birthday present, right? Shit. It was her birthday the night before or two nights before and. Was it? Yeah. And I, ran I didn't know her. that. Yeah, it was her birthday. Wow. Cassie and I ran into her in the lobby at uh, the Hyatt and uh, Mark did, <laughs> did her birthday right. Lots of balloons and she had some treats for after the show, but she looked phenomenal. And I did speak with her in the lobby and um, I had a feeling, you know, the way that she talked about how good she looks and, you know, how we all kind of used to, we take these progress pictures, we look at them and we're like, oh my God, I look terrible when we look good. But then, sorry, phone call. Okay. Um, but then she explained to me that she, and I will ask her to tell the story again, but she had finally hit the point that she looked at her progress pictures after taking them and was like, I look good. And I think that that confidence really radiated off of her on stage. And I think everyone could see it. Everyone could tell. And she just, she hit a home run for sure. So yeah, having that mindset of just feeling just like really great where you're at, um, that yeah. is, that speaks so much to how you're going to perform on stage. It does 100%. Yeah. Um, and uh, why Siri. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why my computer's doing this. I uh, just sent her the link. Okay. My Siri, uh, just so you know, if I seem like I'm like confused, um, Siri keeps on like popping up on my screen saying, I think he meant to say this. It didn't like the word. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. We're sorry, everyone. I look like I have a problem though. You have a what? But you're really sweet for joining. Oh yeah, no problem. I don't know if I'll make it the whole way, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah. Jen might be like, what is wrong with you guys? Yeah, but no, we're definitely going to stay with Chris. It's our new show. <laughs> yeah. We're definitely going to stay with Chris said. 
Well, Chris earlier was like, are you going to get ready? I'm like, I can't, I can't put any makeup on. My skin's literally just peeling off. I can't take it off. My eyes literally look, I went to work and all of like our staff was just looking at me like, like what's wrong with you? <laughs> I, I look like I had a crazy reaction to like shrimp and my whole face was swollen. Oh my like, gosh, that's terrible. Well, hey, I mean, at least uh, I'm glad you whipped out the glasses for us. Anything for you, Sarah. Aw, <laughs> for me, for them, for the viewers. <laughs> so funny so have you been so are you you're doing the class Engaged. next week oh my god duh congratulations sarah Thanks. i couldn't remember uh, if we if i was uh, a fiance the last time we recorded or not but i don't think so so uh, yeah no we were I, not we were not i didn't think so so yeah i'm thrilled uh feels great and yes i am headed to orlando on wednesday for the clash joe pishkula's uh, all south series show and i'll be there doing social media and interviews so uh if anyone's competing uh feel free to stop by and say hello. Maximum Beauty will be there as well. So I'm super excited to kind of have a whole whole little miniature weekend at an amateur event. Yeah, that's going to be super fun. So, yeah. okay, your wedding plan, like, are you guys have a date or anything like that? No, no, you know me, I'm, I'm chill. So uh, I just kind of, we actually just moved into our new home. So that has kind of taken over our lives and it's been like nonstop since we have gotten the keys here. So I have um, just been kind of getting settled in and slowly looking at venues but um you know just taking my time with it that is so, so much great things happening in your life that's so yeah. awesome yeah about time my gosh okay is she there there she is oh okay great all right, all right. stick with the plan stan i can't even do this this is too funny <laughs> Uh, you might need to unmute yourself. I know she's muted. I can I hear, can you hear her? Mm, I mean, she hasn't talked. She saw us and she was just like, "I'm out." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these crazy girls. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. She's like, "Ah, uh, never mind." <laughs> Oh, what did oh. they smoke today? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Jen! I'm here, okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> yay, okay. Yay! Uh, well, we just, we're, we wanted to welcome you and just, we didn't want to be blinded by your beauty and grace. And so <laughs> here we are. I know. It's like, you're crazy. We had to let the, the champ shine. So we're, we're like downing ourselves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should go put on a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Do it. Okay. Please. You need to. <laughs> You need to explain to her now. Okay, so the the real story here is I had like a really intense laser procedure done all over my face and I literally look like the Catwoman and my skin is peeling off. And I did this because I knew you were coming on and I wanted to purposely make myself look ugly to let you shine and take this the spotlight. <laughs> oh no, you could never look ugly. <laughs> So I'm, I'm disguising myself because I literally look kind of, I can't wear any makeup. My skin's like peeling. It's so. And I was yeah. just being friendly. Sarah was being kind. Yes. Nice. Yep. <laughs> the champ. How does it feel to be Miss Bikini Olympia? Oh my gosh, it still sounds so crazy to even hear it. I'm like, is this real life? Like, it's just, it's incredible. Honestly, just, just like beyond my wildest dreams. So I'm so excited for you, Jen. 
Yeah, I am so excited for you. I, I'm I'm genuinely so happy that you are the bikini ambassador and representing our division. I think you are perfect for it. You look phenomenal, and I'm just really happy for you. Oh, you're so sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It was just like such an incredible weekend from like the Arnolds and then straight into Olympia. There was just so much going on. It was just the best weekend. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Yeah, I was just saying to Camille, I was like, what a birthday present. Right, it was awesome. Cause like on my birthday was like the Thursday and there was like the press conference, so much fun. The meet and greet, like I literally had thousands of people wish me happy birthday that day. It was Aww. awesome. I was that like, I so loved, loved it. It was, it was great. And my, my so. You know, what's so cool about how this year's Arnold's was so close to the Olympia. I was telling Sarah and I was talking to Chris about, it, I'm like, dude, if Jennifer Dory wins the Olympia, like, do you know how much, cause you know how normally like the Arnold's and the Olympia are like six months apart and like whoever went, like, it's like you have that high from the Arnold's and then it kind of like dissipates in six months in the bikini world is like an eternity. Um, but you were on this like hardcore momentum and it's just like Arnold's champion, boom, Olympian champion, boom. <laughs> like that is cool. And yeah, it, right before the Arnold too, the Nashville Fit Show champion, it was like the perfect warm up. So it was first, first, first. Yeah, I mean, I definitely didn't have a, a perfect season. I mean, Tampa didn't go as expected, but in hindsight, I'm kind of glad it happened that way because I, I just got room to improve better, better and better each show. And it kind of made it for a good story at the end of the year. So it's kind of like a good don't give up if things don't go your way because I mean Tampa I was third you know I didn't win the show and Issa beat me there and then at the Arnold's we turn around and you know I beat her and then at the Olympia as well so it just shows how we can flip flop back and forth and like if you don't bring your best there's always a chance to redeem yourself and keep getting better yeah you're a perfect you're a perfect example of that and, and you know in in it's you're a great example for women who you know it's 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 hard to win a show. It's hard to win a show. And you rocked that top three for a long time. And I think I, was, we, I think we had you on what, our, for an interview like shortly after you had your first win, um, but you were already considered one of those top, top tiered athletes. Um, but it's just, you keep coming and that, that's never turned you away. And you always have a, a great attitude about it and you are consistent. Yes, <laughs> that's the goal because <laughs> it, like, that's kind of what Jam would always say to me too. You know, like, even if you don't win a show, like you have to look, you've done all the top tier shows and you've been consistent in that top two, top three spot. So it's not about going from one extreme to the next with your physique. It's just making those little tiny tweaks to make sure that you're, you're always bringing your package. Like my look never really changes drastically. Um, from Tampa to Nashville was like a two pound difference, just tightening up a little bit. And then from Nashville to the Arnold, the Arnold to Olympia, same thing. It was just little small and just bringing the same Jen Dory, just with a little bit of improvements. Yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. And it, it worked, it worked. And I was telling Camille before you got on about how I ran into you in the lobby. And I just remember like feeling that energy off of you. And when you just told me how you genuinely just felt in such a good place, could you kind of like reshare that conversation of what you told me with Camille in the audience? Yeah, I think that was actually on um, the Thursday on my birthday that day. Yes. That I ran and I had like my makeup done, like I was wearing a nice outfit and I just felt like a million bucks. But like, I just woke up that day feeling like I'm where I need to be. And I was just so happy with how I looked that I'm very hard on myself. I never think I look good. I never think I look good enough. And that from that morning on, I was like, I know I can win. I, I look my best. Like I'm at peace with whatever happens because I'm just so happy with how I look. And I know how hard I worked to make those improvements that the judges asked for. And for me, it was, I was coming in so much better than the Arnold's already. So I was just like, I can't wait to get on stage to show off these improvements. Like Ken Saturday, hurry up. I remember being like, it's only Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, the best feeling. And when you have that feeling, like it sets your, cause if you have any kind of doubt or you're doubting yourself or you're starting to look at others and, and comparing and you don't feel a hundred percent, just like, I like mentally there, like you were, um, it can show on stage. And, and if you feel that, like, like that is, and we don't always feel like that. 
for a show. Like they're, you know, it's, it's like kind of like hit or miss, <laughs> but that's amazing. Well, it all worked out. Yeah. And good feelings. I, uh, I have to piggyback on what Camille just said, because I think that that is something that we've never actually addressed or even asked anyone. Um, but how do you handle uh, the social media aspect of things and looking at the other girls, especially at the Olympian Arl, you know exactly who you're competing against. Are you a scroller and holy shit kind of got a girl? Or are you like, I don't care. I get on, I post, I respond to my comments and messages and I get off. How do you handle that? Because I think that that's something that a lot of competitors struggle with. Yeah, I mean, for me, I try and stay in my own lane as much as possible. Like, of course, I see who's competing and what they look like. And it's kind of fun to watch because at the end of the day, as much as I compete, I'm also a fan of the sport and a fan of my fellow athletes. So I like to watch their progress. I like to see their updates. But at the same time, I know to turn my mind off from that because my physique is mine alone and their physique is theirs. So there's no, there's really no point in me comparing myself to someone else who's going to have different strengths, different weaknesses. And at the end of the day, when we show up on stage, that's what matters, not six weeks out, not four weeks out, not two days out, not one day out. It's what you bring to stage. And I, I used to get caught up in looking at, you know, like so-and-so has such an amazing abs and, you know, I don't or something like that. And then I realized that why am I comparing, you know, something of, of mine like this, that, that genetically I just don't have to someone's strength that has abs year round. So I think when you kind of put it into perspective that your strengths, someone else is looking at those saying, I wish I looked like that. And you can't compare your weakness to someone else's strengths. And at the end of the day, you also have to look at the criteria for bikini. And, you know, if you're looking at someone who's shredded, is that the criteria for bikini? And are you going down the wrong path because you're getting swayed by social media um, versus are you sticking to the criteria that's set for the IP Pro League for the NPC? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's great advice and something that everyone should keep in mind. And now we have the new criteria for the bikini division. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say it's new criteria, Jen, oh, no, but, Jen, but it's just a reminder to everybody. It's like, and it honestly, like, and, I, and I'm a huge fan of like each of the other athletes and especially yeah. the top five, like they're like, they all bring something really special. Um, but you really are like, I think as a whole for the bikini division, like bikini girls should be very happy that you're the standard because it's a, it's, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's very balanced and it, it calls for a healthier lifestyle. And that's really what the judges are really wanting it to have to promote to like the newer athletes coming up is like, um, you know, so it's not something that's like so freakish looking that it's, it's hard to achieve. Yeah. Something that's attainable, that's healthy, that someone would look at and be like, you know, I want to look like that, not mm -hmm. that the mainstream public is going to look at and run away from because it looks too freaky for them or it's too scary. Like, you know, the bodybuilders bring that mass freak look and most people look at them like, Oh, what's that? Like, if they're not in the industry, they're like, what's going on. Right. So, kind of what, what bikini is that, that mainstream marketing where we can look good as a fitness model. We look good on stage. We look good in the gym and it's just easy to appeal to the public. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're that. Um, <laughs> and I think also I was going to, when you were talking about, your mindset and just, you know, not paying too much attention to the other competitors. I think it also, I bet Mark Anthony plays a role too, because he is such a positive supporter and a great person to have in your circle. And he probably also keeps you like, he gives you that, he, he builds your confidence in a good way. And yep. you can tell that he's also like helps kind of bring you up there. Yeah. So, I mean, since we first met, he's always been telling me like in my ear every day, you're going to be Miss Bikini Olympia. You're going to win Olympia. And I was always like, oh, shut up. You're just saying, <laughs> I was like, you're just saying that, like, stop saying that. I used to get like frustrated sometimes, like stop saying that to me. <laughs> um, because I didn't believe it myself that I was capable of. And I didn't feel that I could achieve that because it was such a far-fetched dream for me. Um, and then the more he said it, the more he said it, the more I was like, you know, maybe I could do this. And then this year, finally, I felt like, you know, I can do this. So he was just beyond happy on Thursday morning when I woke up saying like, you know, I can win this. Like, I think I look, I look amazing right now. And he was like, did you just say that? Cause he was like, I, he's like, this is the moment in my life. I've never heard you act like this and, and believe in yourself so much. He's like, this is the best thing that I could ever ask for. So he was just so happy. 
That's amazing. Like, he yeah. adores you and everyone can see it from a mile away. I think you guys just have such a great relationship and it's so awesome to see how you guys have blossomed so much over the last few years. It's it's wild that how, how quickly time has flown. I remember the first time that you were on stage, it was like you next to Ashley Kaltwasser. I think it was at the Toronto Pro, right? Um, or Vancouver? They were 20 Yeah. And everyone was like, who is this girl? Like the dark hair, the green suit. It was like a second Ashley Kaltwasser, especially because you have the glutes too. So I'll never forget that. And now look at you. I mean, it's, it's so but awesome. It's funny you brought that up actually, because when we were on stage, once they called my name as the winner, um, obviously I was like bawling because it's like such an emotional moment. And then Ashley jumps over and hugs me and she whispers in my ear, like, look at where you are now. Remember Vancouver in 2018. So it was just like such a full circle thing for her to say that. Wow. That gives me chills. Yeah. I know. That's really, that's really cool. That is really cool. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. You're in... <laughs> We're like, oh, <laughs> I know, right? Caught up in the moment. No, Ashley's so sweet, and you're so sweet. So that's that's awesome, and there, that is such a, um, you know, I think a lot of people always do question how is it competing against these girls when you know uh, that they're your competition, and there is such a friendship and uh, relationship there that's a respectful thing. And the, the bikini girls are good at that in the sense that I mean, at least on my end too, like if someone else wins and it's their day, I'm not going to be mad that they beat me because they're better than me. I'm genuinely going to be happy because that's, that's their goal achieved the same way that my time's going to come. We all kind of have that respect for one another that of course we go into the show to win because that's the goal with competing. But when you see someone else so emotional because they won, like last year when I got to witness Janet winning, you know, my name was called out after her for a second, but it was just her big moment that I was emotional for her because I'm like, I just got to stand next to someone like, just achieving their highest dreams right so it, we'll yeah feel. and you have you have respect for it like for janet you 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 had a lot of respect for her because she's been competing for so long and you're like you know so. you, you you were probably studying her when you were in the mpc yeah so for me it was like to be second last year next to her i was like wow like what an accomplishment it wasn't like oh i missed out on the first place i was like wow i'm second like that's crazy yeah well yes. and i i think um i'll never forget um i used to when i used to compete i used to pose with kenny wallach and i'll never forget when he said it to me and he just stayed with me and i think i may or may not have mentioned this before camille with you um that he used to always say that you're auditioning you know, everyone is there and everyone's auditioning. And then you guys are just simply placed in the, the um, achievement of who actually got the part and who is second best to the part. And that always stuck with me because it was, it made me stop looking at other people and more focused on myself and realize that I have to just bring my best to the audition. And um, I think that's kind of, you know, similar to, to how you, how we're all talking about it. Yeah. yeah, that's a great analogy. I like that a lot. Yeah, for sure. It stuck with me, definitely. Good. So now what? Are you going yeah. on vacation? Are we going to see some seminar tours? What's the plan? Yeah, so I mean, right now I'm just trying to get back into normal routine with everything's just been crazy busy. Um, but I do have a bunch of things coming up in terms of like seminar stuff, some stuff here in Nevada with Sandy. Obviously, we do a lot of stuff in Nevada. Um, Mark and I have a show that's going to be next year, September, that we're going to be doing. Whoa. Um, Yay. Yeah. That, that'll be in Vegas. Um, what is it called? It's going to be the High Roller Royale. Ooh, nice. be... That's so, rad. Yeah. So we're super excited for that. Um, it'll be an NPC show. So we're kind of focusing on getting everything lined up getting ready for that next September and then I'll be at a lot of the shows I mean I'm I always go to most of the shows and any seminars that I can travel to so I'll be at most of the national shows for the rest of the year um, I'll be in California the next couple of weeks at some of the muscle contest shows and only are you only going to be in Southern California um not sure yet where are you going to be are you going to the Sacramento show so not the Sacramento show because I have to be here that weekend. Um, there's a, a Vegas show on the 6th, but I'm okay. going to be to um, the Iron Games on the 13th, the muscle contest one. Okay. Darn it. I'll be at the Sacramento show, so I'll, I'll miss you. I'm good to see you. Yeah. Um, so 
the your show with Mark Anthony, the High Rollers, is that going to be around Olympia next year? Uh, yeah. So Olympia next year is going to be in December in Vegas. Okay. So September at the beginning of September. Deal. So you have time to like focus on your prep. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, being a promoter is like a whole different game. But thankfully, I'm good at multitasking. So. Yeah. I that is so exciting. Um, that's a great, that's awesome. Cause I, I know of a few shows in, in Las Vegas, but, um, not a ton. I'm just familiar with Patrick Sampson's NPC shows out there. So that'll be great. I'm excited. Camille, you might have to make the trip. Yeah, you guys. I'm totally down. Okay. And, and Jen, if you, um, I have, I'm an NPC judge now. So if you guys need a judge on the panel, okay. I think, I'm um, doing the Sacramento show. I've done um, a few with Sandy already and some other local shows out here in California. Okay, cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> love to do that. Wow, that's so exciting. So now, um, can you tell us a little bit about your reverse and how do you do reverse? Have you enjoyed some food? Do you get right back on the next day? Can you kind of break that down for us? Yeah, so for me, I always like to enjoy some food. I'm not someone who's going to be like, I can't eat anything because I believe in balance, enjoying your life, obviously. What are, what are those butter pies that you like? <laughs> the butter tarts. Butter tarts. <laughs> Every time I see her, I'm like, are you eating butter tarts? <laughs> yeah, so I, um, on the meet and greet, they had did this whole birthday parade for me and Elena got me this ginormous carrot cake and like said, happy birthday. So it was sitting in my room waiting for me. So I that after and carrot cake is my favorite so I was like devouring that and then once I got home throughout the week just right back to my plan um, back to my normal prep foods back to cardio back to training just because you crave that after a couple meals off plan the only thing you want is like give me the chicken and rice again and let me get back to my training just so your digestion stays on point um, and then usually on the weekend I'll have a meal or so maybe like a couple of treats and snacks like that but Generally, I keep my my weeks very clean, Monday through Friday, and then on Saturday, usually we'll go out for a dinner somewhere, usually a steakhouse or something like that, and then back to the plan Sunday, if I want to have a little bit of something, I'll give myself that balance, and then again, back to it throughout the week, just so I don't lose track of my routine, because it's really easy, if you do fall off track post-show, to fall off weight track, and then it's really hard to get back on track once, you, once you've fallen off track, so if you can keep your, your routine and your Monday through Friday split, at least you'll do much better with staying on track. Yeah. And I think you don't really fully understand that till you go through it at least once or twice. Okay, Jen, I have a question for you. And I've always kind of wondered this about the the bikini champion. Yeah. And do you feel, and maybe this is a personal question, but do you feel like pressure to maintain or to be a certain way now throughout the year, even if you're not competing for a while, because you are that champion and people look up to you, you'll be at shows. Do you feel like you have to be, look a certain way and maintain that? Oh, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm just curious. Has yeah. it changed that pressure? Has it changed though from the past? Cause obviously you've been uh, a yeah. top contender for uh, a couple of years now, a few years. Yeah. I mean, I think so just because people are looking at you as the standard. So obviously you want to maintain you know, within a good range of your stage weight. So my goal is to kind of stay within that 10 pound max range throughout the year of my stage weight, which will just make my future preps, you know, for, for the Olympia again, for the Arnold a lot easier, not having to get down as much because it is easy for me to jump up a lot in weight. Naturally, I'm not someone who is skinny or lean. I have a lot of muscle and I gain fat really quick. So it's easy for me to like gain a lot of weight quickly and it looks healthy on me, but sometimes a little bit too healthy. So um, definitely that pressure to kind of like keep me on track, but it's kind of a good thing for me because I've probably done the best post show I've ever done with staying on track, reversing. Even Mark was like, I'm surprised. You're like, you're being so good. Yeah. And he's stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I mean, I, the reason I ask is because I would be, I mean, I would feel pressure to maintain your round right. as you're a pro or people look at you, but especially being a bikini champion, yeah. I would be just like, it would be, I would, it'd be something I would be, you know, con in my mind, I'm constantly on prep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think it kind of is a good thing though, because in a sense it, it holds you accountable. Um, but at the same time, I think it also is important to show that we don't stay stage 
around. It's, it's not maintainable. It's not healthy. You know, for me to get, I have to really suffer. So for me to continue that year round is just not something that I can maintain at that stage weight within 10 to 15 pounds. Of course I could, um, that 10 pounds being a better range, but I think it's important to show that, you know, we can gain a little bit of weight and we just look healthier versus being so tiny and depleted looking on stage. Yeah. Um, so there's kind of the both sides. Yeah. yeah. And, and you need to have a little bit of, you need to gain a little bit of weight in your off season to totally come back and look, you know, fresh and make those changes. Okay. Uh, can I ask you another question? Oh, hey, Camille, then it's my turn. Okay. You can go first. It's like... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, go for it. Go for it. Okay. I am so curious. So you and Mark sometimes go out, like you said, steakhouse, you know, you go out to dinner, you live in Vegas and I'm sure other people are wondering, do you enjoy a cocktail? Do you not drink at all? What is your alcohol intake when it is not in prep? Yeah. So in prep, I don't really ever right. drink alcohol. Um, we love wine. I mean, you, you and I know this, I'm a Malbec. So I know it's oh, that's what I, if I drink wine, it's Malbec. <laughs> Me oh. too. That's the only wine. <laughs> Mark and I love to enjoy like a good Malbec. Um, he likes tequila. So sometimes here and there, but I really am not a big drinker. I don't like feeling like crap the next day, to be honest. So cocktails, I never do sugars and alcohol together just because I don't want to waste calories on the sugar. I just don't see the point. It's like drinking a soda when you could have a diet soda. Right. Totally. I, once I'm conscious of it, I can't do it. So at most maybe a tequila with some like splash of pineapple and club soda, but usually just a, a good red wine. Do you have you ever had a hard kombucha? No, I haven't. No, oh, they're good. That's like I love them. Huh? Well, um, the best skinny margarita recipe is uh tequila coin trow, which I know I'm not pronouncing it properly, but it's like an orange liqueur that is Quantro. Yeah, that Quantro. Thanks. <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, like a shot of lime and of lime juice and then top it with a uh, topo chico which is a mexican Ooh. uh carbonated water mineral water nothing. yes and it has like a twist of lime in it and it is lit highly recommend did, did you call uh did you say contra i don't want to talk about it <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> that's <so> funny <laughs> No wonder they don't know what I'm asking when I will go to the liquor store and ask if they have that in stock. Yeah, you'll get some kind of sandwich or something. <laughs> or nothing. That's that's great, Jen. Yeah. I'm happy that I'm happy to hear that you enjoy having some fun here and there, and you are human. Yes, of course. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a, a big drinker by any means, but you know, one or two glasses of wine here and there is is always nice with with a good steak and a good yeah. Caesar. Yeah, totally. Okay, awesome. now my question, I want to ask you a question now too. Um, uh, oh, okay, this is, so might be a little personal, but it's not bad or anything. Um, but who coached you leading into the Arnolds and the Olympia? And I, I know you had a change of coaches um, and you, you are now coaching for Fit Body Fusion. Was Mark Anthony coaching you? Yeah. So this year, my entire season, um, I wasn't working with any prior that I was working with um, Tampa, Nashville, Arnold, Olympia. Mark and I both had coached me a combination of him and I together. So I that. he has a ton of knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge. I know my body very well. He has seen me through all my preps the last three and a half years. So we just felt like the two of us could do the best job with our two minds kind of coming together. So I'm very intuitive with everything that I need to do. And I'm, I don't really need to be told to suffer. I know if I need to suffer and I'm not someone who's gonna shy away from the challenge. Um, and I don't really need someone to hold me accountable necessarily because I, I do that on my own. But it's nice to have, you know, when we're, for example, peeking into a show, we'll kind of bounce ideas off each other and be like, you know, I think about this, what do you think? And he'll be like, no, or yes, we should do this. And he just kind of keeps an eye as well to be like, okay, we gotta, we got to drop the hammer now or like we got to slow down a bit so we kind of bounce off one another for that that's awesome. awesome that's exactly what chris and i did um and it worked out i don't think everyone can do that in a relationship um with a fellow competitor or ex-competitor competitor but um if you have that relationship and you can do that you have someone looking at you every day and that person knows your body so well like it it you yeah that's great. Yeah. 
it was just one, it, there's no stress there because like, you know, I, I did check-ins for myself. I did my normal check-in setup. I would send him check-ins. I would, we had a group that we sent my check-ins to me, him in like a WhatsApp group so I could keep track of everything. And I'm very, very detailed. Like I had like a spreadsheet of everything for myself, all my check-ins just to keep track of. Um, so it worked out well. And I mean, we're both obviously very happy with how it went. Yeah, that's, Absolutely. that's awesome. I had yeah. a feeling that that's what um, you guys were doing, but I wanted to just ask. So I know you might not want to answer this or it could just be a flat out no, but um, are you going to be competing at the Arnold or applying to compete at the Arnold? Yes. So I actually have to double check and see if you, I don't know if it's like the Olympia where if you win, you get an automatic invite the next year. So I have to actually ask about that and see, um, if not, then I will be applying again for like your concern that you wouldn't be accepted. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) I was like that this year though. That's how, but that's how humble Jen is. Like that's how you're, you're, when you were just like a little bit ago talking about how the first time you ever said, I think I can win this, which was like, what, Thursday before the Olympia, like that just shows how humble of a person you are. That's so cool. Sorry, yeah. guys. I do not mean to look distracted. My cat is peeing on your leg. obsessed with me and <laughs> has to be on me all the time. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Um, sorry. <laughs> so hopefully um, the Arnold's and then the Olympia is the plan. And then I have to see, you know, do I have to apply for the Arnold again or do I automatically get to go if, if you won the prior year? I'm not sure. So I'll find that out. And then if so, I'll be applying. If not, if I get the automatic invite, that's easy. That's great. So sweet. Okay. And how cool is it that you can go to any Olympia any time ever? Can uh, you please, can you please be the first bikini champion to show up like when you're like 60 years old just because you can? <laughs> Wow, you heard it here first. <laughs> I think that's so rad. <laughs> oh my God, Camille. <laughs> Gray curly hair. No <laughs> joke. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> oh my gosh. So are you going to be staying in Las Vegas for the holidays or will you be uh, headed up to Canada or any anything like that? Yeah, I'm going to be staying here. Actually, my mom is coming to Vegas for the first time. She hasn't been here before. So she's coming um, in December, which will be nice. And then Mark's parents are going to come down here as well. Oh, that's awesome. That'll be really nice. Hey, and that's a great escape during the cold in Canada. Oh my goodness. I know. (laughs) Yeah, massive, massive difference. Yeah, for real. Well, Well, Jen, is there any words of advice you would like to share with... um, new athletes, seasoned athletes, like what is one thing that just has kept you um, this positive and this motivated and um, just such a great person to be in the sport? I think the biggest thing is just focusing on your journey is yours alone and don't try and compare it to someone else's because it's easy to get caught up and you should be somewhere or, you know, for me, for example, I didn't win a pro show until my third year as a pro. So I could have been like I guess I'm not good enough you know I'm going to give up but you would have I mean I would have missed out on so much that has happened since then if I chose to give up just because I didn't you know get what I wanted right away so I think just keep going and and be perseverant with what you do just keep going keep going keep going and eventually you will get there it just it might not be three years from now it might not be five years from now but eventually you will get there and like I was saying with Tampa for example I did not show up at my best there. I wasn't quite ready. I needed a little bit more time. And of course it was defeating for me a little bit and a bit disappointing for me to show up at less than hundred percent, but everything that you do in life, you take it as a learning lesson, a learning experience, and you just grow, you get better and you improve. So if you are someone who's competing, you do a show, you don't do as well as you'd hope. You don't have to throw in the towel. You don't have to sit down and sulk and get upset. Just get your feedback, take your feedback, implement it, get back to work and just show up better, show up, improve, you know, no, I'm back. I'm here and I'm, I'm not going anywhere. So I think the biggest advice that I could give would just be believe in yourself and keep showing up. Consistent. Oh, advice. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. And it works clearly as you've proven time and time again. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And it's a pleasure having you again. It's always good chatting with you and seeing you and everything. And I'm, 
and I'm sure everybody here is already following Jennifer Dory, but if you're not, Jen, why don't you share your Instagram handle and you're also a coach. So maybe you can share how people can contact you if they want to follow your journey or reach out to you for guidance. Yeah. So my Instagram is Jennifer Dory underscore IPB pro. And then I also have my YouTube, which I've been back up consistent with, and I'm going to do my best to stay consistent with that. So just Jennifer Dory IPB pro is my YouTube. And then for anything for coaching inquiries, Jen Dory at fitbodyfusion.com. You guys can reach me there. Awesome. I love it. Jen, Thank you, Jen. Yeah. Sorry, and can, no. Oh, no, we're saying the same thing. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Seriously. And Congrats. thank you for coming on our show. And sorry about this. No, you look great. <laughs> Congratulations. So happy for you. And I'm sure we will see you soon. Yes. Hopefully I'll see you guys super soon. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Jen. We look forward to seeing what you do with the title. Hey, say, hi to Mark, say hi to Mark for us. Oh, yes, please say hi to Mark. I'll tell him you guys say hi. Okay. <laughs> good. All right. Have a good night, sweetie. Okay. Bye, Bye Jen. Bye. Well, that was, this is, well, that was awesome having Jen on. She's such a sweetheart. She really, she really is. is. I'm not no, just saying I mean, that, but no. she's, she's just such she's very humble and like you can uh it's it's really cool to I'm I'm just happy for her she always has been and it's really nice to see that um stay around because there has been you know people that don't so it's awesome um like you said before she's an amazing representative for the bikini division super happy to have her as the queen and uh I can't wait to see, you know, what she does with the title. I generally meant that because um, with her being such a great ambassador, um, her being able to go and do seminars and spread the word of um, staying consistent, persevering, I think it's awesome that it did take her three years to win her first pro show because it really proves a point um, of being consistent and not giving up. So I'm glad yeah. that she hammered home on that one. Yeah. And I, I, I think a, a part of me feels like she's going to be, you know, I think we all thought like Angelica was such a great, all the bikini champions have been great ambassadors to the sport, but Angelica was just very friendly to everybody Yes, and very open. And I see Jennifer Dory kind of following in that, those footsteps, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I'm, it's going to be great. And plus she's very, she is going to be very involved. She's promoting a show, which is, yeah. Whoop. That's yeah. super exciting. I'm really happy for them. That, that'll be really great. And um, excited to see that turnout. I'm sure it's going to be wild. So Mark yeah. Anthony and Jen Dory, that'll be a great show. Two, I know I forgot to mention that, two champions. <laughs> yeah. For those who don't know, Mark Anthony, her uh, other half is the very uh, first, very first Mr. Olympia for men's physique division. Yeah, so, so they've got two they're a power two champions duo. in the house. Yeah, yeah I pretty, love it. That's pretty cool. Well, Sarah, um, it was really great to see you again. I'm sorry. Okay, you want me to show you what I really look like? Do you want me to pause it? I don't care. Okay. Wait, what laser treatment did you get done? I was about to get one done here soon, too. So I got the BBL and Halo. Okay, I was looking at the Halo. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. It's intense. I know there's like I, one that I went for a consult on where like you like can't leave the house for a week like no one can see you that's kind of where I'm at um <laughs> and you have like it's like it's it's in, so the BBL like zaps like sunspots or freckles or capillaries and it literally just makes them like go away uh -huh. and then it fall off and then the halo is like it was so intense and I I even they even gave me nitrous the whole time <laughs> really it felt like yeah it was it was pretty and then your face feels like it's on fire afterwards you have to uh -huh. like for like two hours you're having to use water to mist your face and uh air conditioner to blow on it it's pretty intense but I've had two friends recently that had it done and they looked incredible and they love it so I was just like all right I'm gonna get this done now I love it yeah I'll show I'll, so I'll, I'll send you the before and after oh please do yeah that would be great I would love but to right see. now I just well let's see if you can even really talk all right, I'll do the reveal. You can't even tell anything. You look perfect. 
<laughs> everyone's gonna hate you officially now no but well you can't it doesn't look that crazy but literally my eyes are like my face is very puffy it does look puffy it does look a little <laughs> puffy but you still look beautiful of course thanks of course so well i hope you have a speedy recovery with that and i will see you soon <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. Bye, and Camille. Con congratulations to you on your engagement. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Just All right. Send me your address. And uh, for, we need to do our outro really quick. We have less than a minute. This episode is brought, brought to you by Maximum Beauty. They did yes. not do this. So don't, that's not yeah. really work. <laughs> no, Maximum Beauty, <laughs> www.beautyandismaximum.com. Hit us up for Nationals, Masters USA's, the Mel Chansey Holiday Classic. And so. be sure to like and subscribe this episode. The new channel, yes. Yes. Thank you guys. We love you all so much. We'll see you soon. Bye.